are we going to have physical bodies in heaven? Are we going to have um, some, you know, bodies that you can touch in heaven? Or are we going to be some spirits? This is a hotly debated uh, question in the Bible, and uh, we'd like to check it out very well today. So, although the Bible tells us little about what it will be like in heaven, it seems that we will, we will uh, most likely have a physical body. Although not in the same sense of physical that, uh, that we have right now. No, not in the sense that uh, what we have right now. Because the Bible tells us in uh, 1 uh, Corinthians 15-52, uh, it says, In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible you see right now we have corruptible bodies we can die we can get sick we can um, get tired and uh, it has all kind of uh, problems but that time the bodies will be incorruptible and we shall be changed so that one already tells us that uh, these bodies that we have are going to be changed in some way and uh, you know it's like god is going to transform them and give us uh, something different so the bible says that the dead will be raised incorruptible and that and that uh, those who are alive at that time of christ's return uh for when he'll be returning for his sins shall be changed okay so jesus is the first fruit we have to understand that jesus is the first fruit uh, of those who have died so being the first fruit what does it mean being the first fruit if you have a tree and it has fruits and that tree there are more other fruits then all fruits will be the same so if it's a first fruit then it means we'll also be like him okay he's the first fruit let's see first corinthians uh, uh 15 uh, 20 mm, 15 uh, 20 it tells us about christ being our first fruit okay but now is christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept so you see if if he's a fruit then uh, we'll also be from the same uh, tree so how we will be looking is exactly how we will also look okay so he has already set an example and has led the way for us and of course, the uh, First Corinthians fifteen uh, forty two says also that our body is sown in corruption. Okay, it is sown in corruption. Let me show you fifteen fifty two. Uh, let me just go down here. Fifteen fifty two. It says mm, that our body is sown is in corruption. That we it should be. Let, let me just read for you. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, in the last time for the last. Trump, trumpets shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and mortal shall have put on immortality then shall that be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory so one of the essence of this body being changed is so that we remove corruption okay now, if Jesus is the first fruit from the dead, then we will have his kind of body. In a precursor to the believer's resurrection, some were raised at the time of Christ's resurrection. Remember that? Some people were raised when Jesus uh, 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 resurrected. After Jesus resurrected, he, you don't know if there are some people who were raised. They are there. They are. Matthew uh, 27 uh, 52. There are people who are raised and they walked in the streets of Jerusalem. See, and the graves are opened and many bodies of the saints which slept arose and came out of the graves after his resurrection, after the resurrection of Christ. And they went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Okay, so Jesus rose and also he rose with other people. So meaning they were given his kind of body. So we see also someone else uh, called Thomas, Doubting Thomas. Have you ever heard about Doubting Thomas? What did Doubting Thomas do? Uh, in John 20, 27, Doubting Thomas physically touched the body of Christ. 
following his resurrection. So he obviously had a body that was solid. So if he touched, this guy said, no, I cannot believe unless I touch him. Let me show you the verse. John, John 20, uh, 27. He said, I cannot believe unless I touch it. You see, then said he to, uh, he to Thomas, reach hither thy finger and behold my hands and reach hither my, uh, thy hand and thrust it into my side and, and be not faithless but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Ooh, ooh. Now my Lord and my God. It is really true. So it means he touched him. So that means uh, he had a solid body. And that's the kind of body that will be with in, uh, in heaven. So we can expect, we can expect something that uh, uh, all believers resurrection during the rapture they will be like that of, um, their bodies will be like that of Christ. This is a wonderful, wonderful truth. Okay? And uh, the Bible is not specific, but it is, seems that we will be able to eat. <laughs> you know? We'll be able to eat. Remember, remember what the Bible has talked about the tree of life? In Revelation 22, verse uh, uh, 2. Revelation uh, 22, verses 2. It seems we will also eat. See, there are people who think, ah, are we going to eat? How is it going to be? Will it be so boring? See, in the midst of the, of the street of it, this is talking about the, 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 the kingdom of heaven, in the millennial, eh? in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Now, you see, there will be fruits, so if there are fruits, does it mean that they're only there to color heaven? No. It will be there for us to eat. So in the midst of the street, okay, there will be that tree of life. Now this seems to be a reversal of Genesis. Remember Genesis? <laughs> this is just like a reversal of Genesis 3, where there was a punishment. Adam and Eve uh, uh, were told what they were banned from eating from that tree. So you see, so also as for hunger, talking about hunger, um, it appears that there won't be any hunger. There won't be hunger, meaning people will be eating, there will be enough, plenty. Okay, let's see what the Bible says in uh, the book of Isaiah, uh, Isaiah uh, 49, 49 verse 10. It talks about if there will be hunger or not. It says... Uh, sorry, 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 dude. Isaiah 49, 10. Uh, 49, verses 10. I hope uh, typed it well. See, they shall not hunger or thirst, neither shall the heat of the sun smite them. For he that has mercy on them shall lead them, even by the springs of water shall he guide them. So there will be no hunger in the millennial kingdom. Hmm. Now, this is speaking of mortal men, remember? Mm -hmm. This is speaking about mortal men because uh, uh, during that period, there will be people who will have uh, gone into the millennial kingdom in their mortal bodies. Okay? So, if we also translate the same to the saints, and we talk about the saints, uh, if the mortals on earth are going to be full uh, and will not hunger, then surely there will be no hunger in heaven even for the, the the saints it won't be there <laughs> because there'll be no hunger in heaven even the bible confirms again over and over over and over let me just show you uh, one verse revelation uh, 7 14 7 14 see see what the bible says about that it says and i said unto him sir thou uh, sir thou knowest and he said unto me these are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. And uh, therefore uh, are they before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. Okay? They shall hunger no more. You see, there'll be no hunger. Neither thirst any more. Neither shall the sun uh, light on them nor any heat. 
of course uh, jesus will be the, the the light so there'll be no need of uh, you know heat there's no heat there's no you know there will there'll be no hungering and uh, definitely if we also check the story of job he also talked about the same you see job wrote job wrote uh, that he knew for sure that if even after he dies and his skin is long gone that in his flesh he shall see god he said that okay see what job said here in uh, job 19:26 job 19:26 see what job said here and though after my skin worms destroy this body yet in my flesh shall i see god so he would see god in his flesh so meaning he would have a physical body not just in my spirit i shall see god it's in my flesh so all caps uh, uh, added for emphasis every caps added for emphasis meaning means that basically our bodies will consist of some kind of glorified flesh okay we'll have some glorified flesh and um Whatever form we have, we know that it will be perfect, sinless, and flawless, just as the body of Christ. That's exactly how it will be. And of course, even we even remember uh, when Jesus rose. You remember he 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 asked, uh, "Do you have something that I can eat eat here?" And he was given some fish, and he ate fish. This is after resurrection, so meaning we will be eating because if Jesus ate some fish. Then it means uh, it was tangible. He was not a spirit. So are you seeing that we will uh, be able to have glorified bodies, good bodies? And if you're out there and you're asking yourself, will I be able to be a, a partaker of all these goodies that are being spoken here? The only way you can be a partaker is through the gospel. Believe the gospel. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. You have to believe how that Christ died for your sins and he was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. When you believe how and why Jesus had to die, how did he die? He died by shedding his blood. Why? Because without shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. So he had to shed his blood so that you can get forgiveness. So if you trust that his death was for you, then you are saved. All you need to do is just to confess to God and tell him what you've believed. Tell him that Jesus, I believe that you've died on the cross and you're buried and rose again. As written in the scriptures for me. And I know and I believe this. Save me today and make me a new creature. So that even as other people celebrate these things, they celebrate and are enjoying in the millennium, you can also enjoy. Hope this has been a blessing to you. Please share the video to other people. Let them be able to hear the gospel. And as well, you can also uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so that you don't miss a new video because we post every day to edify the body of Christ. God bless you and have a blessed, blessed time.